Hey there, fellow Pokemon card enthusiasts. Today I wanted to quickly talk about starting a Pokemon card collection today and whether you should still get the same cards I bought since 2015 as someone who has been collecting Pokemon cards since 2015. I have learned a lot about collecting and would like to share my insights with you. When I started collecting, I had not much money to spend as a student, so I had to be more selective and streamlined in my purchases. I had purchased some Lugia cards because it was very affordable at the time and was of course my favorite Pokemon. But now, due to rising popularity in all the cards, it's not as affordable anymore. This brings me to my first lesson. Buy what you really enjoy. For me, Archeras and Characteras are an amazing way to collect Pokemon cards. These cards don't cost much and have stunning artwork. Back in the day, something similar would have been EX cards or GX cards, some novelty cards like Shining Pokemon from Shining Legends, Prism Star cards, Ancient Trade cards, Break cards, and etc. By focusing what you really enjoy, you will be more satisfied with your collection and won't have any regrets about missed opportunities. My second lesson is that you can't have everything all at once. Take your time and gather as much information as possible. Knowledge is power and it will help you make better decisions in the future. Don't rush into buying every card you see just because it's popular now or valuable. Do your research and make informed decisions. Lastly, collecting Pokemon cards is a way to grow yourself in life. You will obtain attributes that will help you in life, such as patience, discipline, and perseverance. Don't give up on your collection and don't be discouraged by setbacks. Remember, collecting is a journey, not a destination. One more thing I want to add that the best way to enjoy your collection is to share it with others. I don't mean bringing your most treasured items to everywhere you go, but rather visiting your local Pokemon leagues or making friends with collectors online. You will be surprised at the power of friendships formed with people who share the same interests as you. Personally, I have obtained cards from friends via opportunities that I would never have dreamed of just because We've had a mutual respect for each other. By helping others out, you might find that they will help you out in the future when you need something yourself. Give it a shot honestly, it's so rewarding to share your collection and connect with other collectors. And that's all this time, thank you very much for watching and I hope this video has given you some insight into starting a Pokemon card collection today. Remember, collecting is not just about acquiring valuable cards, but also about enjoying the journey and sharing it with others. Like, comment, subscribe everyone, and goodbye.